Morveth Clark and ADHD. Here's a compilation of Morveth talking about having ADHD, and where we catch a glimpse of her random and adorable ADHD traits. I have ADHD, and um, I have learned so much about myself in the past three years since I've really engaged with like TikTok and Twitter. Yeah, my mum also has ADHD and I often think about like, oh, if she'd had her TikToks to watch, to see that like from her little village that she wasn't the only one who thought she was mad, it would have been, would have been great. You know, and I think it's really important that people talk, you know, I think it's important people like you talk about this also. I, I had read this near the Sally Times article uh, that was an interview with Rose, you, you know, Rose Bless. Yeah. And, and, you know, you said that I found now that the, the, that the film, the mod, same mod, seems to matter more than ever in terms of how conversations around mental health and around health workers. I've been thinking about mod a, a lot amongst all of this. Yeah. So, and, and I love that you said that. I mm -hmm. love that you said that because I think that we portray people and, mm. and, and, but I, 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 I just feel like, you know, your consideration of what does this role mean and how are we talking about this and, and, and how, it, and how am I thinking about this mm. is, is so important. It's so easy to slip into roles that represent us that don't do us justice or mm. don't, think, don't think about the, you know, ramifications, but you did. No. <laughs> And I would just go over his house every Wednesday and we'd just read a poem together or something. And it was really, it was um, an education that I felt comfortable with. Because I think um, with my brain in school, I think um, I found being in like big groups and stuff. It wasn't that I was kind of overwhelmed. I was kind of like overstimulated. I was like, ah, so exciting and just couldn't focus. And so to have this quiet time with this kind of, um, he was about, 80 when I started going over. Like, this older, gentle man it was wonderful. Um, I would say it is Gary Owen. Um, I've been really lucky to be in two plays of his, and one of which was kind of my first play in London. Um, I'm sorry, that was my alarm to make sure that I didn't get to do things. Ah! Uh, um, <laughs> Mine was the same alarm 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I have to keep it going, but I have to keep it on snooze, otherwise I get distracted. Anyway, um, um, but yeah, I, I feel much less imposter syndrome on stage than filming. I think it's just because it feels just more real in general and you have a reaction back, whereas there's much more time to just go mad in your head. So there's like really loud banging. I don't know what it is. Can you hear it? It's probably the ghost. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, my agent had gone mad about it, kind of rung me in this like big excited flurry, like, you have to read this, you have to read this. So I kind of went to it like, what's got her so excited? And um, I'm kind of quite bad at sitting down and reading for more than 10 minutes at a time. And I just did this all at once and kind of then remember just lying in bed, just staring at the ceiling, kind of the same feeling that you were saying you had. My guilty pleasure, I think, is really not feeling guilty about procrastination at all. I think I'm quite unmillennial in that way. I allow myself to do lots of scrolling on TikTok, lots of playing games, and I don't feel guilty about it. And so, yeah, I think that's what's great about horror is that it's always discussed so intensely and it becomes something entirely new. And it feels like it's a genre that's like a really um, great medium to specifically like explore the female experience and things like trauma in a way maybe you can't do as well with, with normal drama. Yeah, um, and I think horror is also kind of, I think it makes sense to me like that no, I've lost my thread, but yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> I, um, there's a lot that I've now, as you asked that, my brain is empty. <laughs> She's just adorable. If you have ADHD, can you relate to this video? Leave your comments below if you have ADHD or you have family and friends that have it. If you love Morbeth Clark, visit my works on the description below. Thanks for watching.